we've got here three yards of gravel in our newly uh, sided trailer and we need a way of getting it out any ideas shovel it out you, would, you think we should shovel it out yeah and like we should start from here so the gravel doesn't just go fall out and, and, and when it's like past this line we could open that and keep doing it that's a good idea but you know what I don't want to shovel it. Pick it up with a backhoe. Now you're thinking with the backhoe. We are going to have to use a shovel for a little bit of this. But most of it, I've got an idea of how we can get the majority of this gravel out without lots of physical work. And I'll show you what, I, what that is. Here's the idea. We're going to use this blade, which I got from Big Brother. It was on another piece of equipment. Can't remember what kind it was, but it was old, so you let me have it. What we're going to do is we're going to make a rake, kind of, sort of, basically a rake out of this. The idea is that this is going to mount onto here and there's going to be some D-rings on here with a chain holding it to the bucket and we're just going to use this to grab that gravel in the back of the trailer and just pull it out nice and easy. A little bit of a welding project. We like those around here. We got to weld a rectangular enclosure here on the back side of this so this can slip over the teeth. Obviously we're still missing that one. So it'll sit somewhere out here and the teeth won't dig into the floor of the trailer. And the front end of the backhoe is too wide. It won't fit inside the trailer. Even if it could, it can only reach in a few feet. So this, I think, is the way to go. I picked up this I-beam from the scrap yard. It's about a uh, almost a half inch thick there and anyway, I didn't need this much steel to make the box for that. But this is kind of how it comes when you go to the scrap yard. It's hit and miss on you know exactly what you need or want versus what you end up with which is fine because it's cheap so we're just going to cut some pieces off of that for our little box for this rake and weld it on and we'll have a bunch of leftover of this little i-beam here which i can use for something else later on right
very satisfying, huh? Yeah, it is. Not bad. Slips right over the teeth. Got a little extra space. All that I have left to put on here are the, the D rings, which will go on the, this side of the blade somewhere in this area. One over here, one over there. And then it's ready to go. Ready. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. You sure use some heavy duty materials? <laughs> Pretty heavy. <laughs> well, I can explain, right? This blade is like three quarters inch thick. Maybe a little more. And I tried to match it, you know, on thickness with this box here. It's uh, running like seven sixteenths and a quarter inch material. Anyway, and I put lots of welds on it. It's pretty strong, but this is not going to be used for um, some intense things, right? <laughs> it's just for... Right now, its purpose is just for scraping the gravel out of our trailer, which we have yet to try. And also, I, we could use it to kind of maybe, you know, after a rainstorm, you get ruts and whatever, and then it dries out. You could kind of come along and maybe uh, groom the road a little bit with it. But that's it. It ain't for digging. It ain't for uh, going through hard ground or anything like that, right? Um because otherwise it might not hold up. <laughs> Even though my welds are good and all that, but these D-rings, that material holding that on is not as thick as this thing here. So we're ready to wrap the train on, chain on it and... Try it out? Give it a try. All right.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's try it out. We should mention that we had the inspector over one last time and we passed our final inspection. So we are on the home stretch. We just gotta get this gravel in and bury these trenches. All right, got the tires chalked, emergency brake is on. That way this won't have put too much stress on anything when we pull this out. We're pulling it out on our road because we can't get this truck and trailer into where the leach field is. There's too many trees around it. Which, and we kept it that way because we, we like the trees. So it's coming out on our road, which is fine. We'll scoop it up, drive it over there and whatever is left on the road the you know the small little layer is going to stay because we got to gravel our road anyway How about that? I am so exhausted from shoveling all this gravel. Aren't you so glad we don't have to do that? That was awesome. This is this is all that's left. We haven't touched this yet with a shovel or a broom. There it is. Now, this is uh, three yards of rock. I think my next load, I'm gonna see what three and a half looks like in the trailer. The trick to my rake here is finesse. Yeah, I could see that. Very light on the handle, the, the sticks, the joysticks, because it's just a wooden trailer with wooden sides. Gotta take my time. Uh, how long do you think that took? Like 15 minutes? Maybe. maybe. And dump trailers are overrated. They really are. <laughs> they just cost more money. A dump trailer would be pretty cool. But that would be cool. really expensive. So this and that is our dump trailer. So we'll clean this out with a, a shovel and sweep it out and it's ready for another load.
Doing some rock work, huh? Yep. It's been a little while since we've gotten onto this wall. But now's a good time to do a bucket of mortar. We've got water going into our tank here and we need to get more gravel. So, but we need the trailer for the gravel. <laughs> so we've got to empty the water and then I can go get gravel and get back on the septic. So while I'm waiting for it to pump into here, we're working on the wall. So that took 25 minutes to pull all that out with the backhoe versus, I don't know, two, three hours of shoveling. So we just have a little bit to clean out there and it's enough that Eli can do it. He's gonna do all of it with a broom. You gonna, you gonna clean out the trailer for me? Not the rocks. So one thing, in case you're wondering, as that blade sits on there, it's not perfectly straight. And, which is okay. And the trailer is not on perfectly level ground. It's close, but it's tilting on one side more than the other. But the easy way to deal with that is with the outriggers. So I can I can raise one side up and lower the other side and that puts that thing straight on with the bed of the trailer so that it's not crooked. So that, you know, you don't have like a one corner digging in more than the other. And with that being said, the trailer is holding up pretty well. It I scraped it there a little here here and there a little you know you got some defects there from the blade and a little bit right over there but nothing major the key to it is taking my time being gentle
Nothing like working off into the sunset. The sun's pretty gone. It's pretty much gone. <laughs> can barely see you. I can see Logan really good though. It's <laughs> <laughs> good, making progress. We need more oh, gravel. We're we're gonna be done with the gravel tomorrow. <laughs>